mean, you can never really know another person. Do you actually think that, though? Fourteen months ago, I was doing a play in Dublin. Sides came through, kind of frantically read the book, fell in love with it very quickly, and then went through a fairly rigorous kind of audition process and found out around February. February, March, does that mm. make sense? Yeah. Yes, and I yeah, I was quite similar. I hadn't, I'd heard of the book and lots of my friends had been like, you have to read it, but I hadn't. And um, I had my first self-tape through and I fell in love with the character even just from those sides. And then I read the book and had my recall with Paul, who had already been cast. And um, yeah, it was mad because I'd like, the pressure was very high because I loved yeah. it so much. Did your friends know about us? That we were together? No. No one would have to know. I think a lot of people are quick to like throw the word millennial around with her and about the character she writes about. What, what, what does that word even mean to you? Like, what does it mean to be a millennial, I guess? It's so funny because I, I do hear that a lot. Mm -hmm. I guess they are because they, they're, they're from this era. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that the kind of love and the relationship that they have is timeless. I, I wouldn't say that it's particularly like, you know, mm -hmm. they do, I guess, the ways they communicate are different. They, you know, they email and they and things like that. So I guess there's the, yeah. those elements. But and yeah, but it's a funny one. Yeah, I, to me, it just got, it, I could be wrong, but it feels like it's a, a, a title that we wouldn't use about, say, our generation, it's maybe other generations use about us. And I think um, mm. it's just a means of like kind of clarifying when mm -hmm. when you were living and whether you use mobile phones or not. And I think um, what Daisy was saying in terms of like the structure of the, the story exists, not just in a millennial context, but we've seen the structure of that kind of love story for decades and, yeah. and it, it just really works. And I think uh, what's quite exciting about it, I guess, is um, it, you know, it, I, it's modern in the way that I think they treat each other and that they are intellectual equals and that, you know, especially, you know, in early on, Connell, the way he handles Marianne in terms of like, um, as she kind of loses her virginity and all, all that is really grown up and and really um, how it should be done. And I think that that's quite exciting. And I guess it's modern in that way is yeah. there's no kind of, they're very much on a level playing field. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, I just, uh, I keep thinking how, how nice it was to see you, and I, uh, I was thinking that I've, that I've missed having you in my life. There's a Hulu trailer and there's a, a BBC trailer, and I think that people have already dubbed the BBC trailer the horny trailer because there's a lot <laughs> oh more my action my in it. Mom, my <laughs> mum messaged me, she was like, it's a little raunchy, Daisy. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh God. I was going to say, that has to funny. be an odd sensation to have er suddenly everyone talking about that aspect of it. Yeah. yeah well, I we kind just, of, We've done the scene so we know yeah. what's Yeah, coming. do you know, it's so funny because, like, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just, like, bl blind to it now or numb to it, but I... I I'm surprised that that's even a word because, I mean, those scenes are kind of, yeah. you know, they just feel like they've so brilliant in the series, they, they are so brilliantly interwoven that they don't stand out as like the scene or, or anything. It's just kind of all blurring into one story. So it is quite funny that people are seeing that and the thinking that. Trailer. Hilarious. I kind of love it. Yeah. yeah, it's exciting. It's so integral to the story, um, those intimate scenes and, and, yeah. and they're like, they're so beautifully written in the book that, you know, to do them justice in the series, you know, it meant that we kind of, we, we had an intimacy coordinator who helped us with them, mm. which meant that we could kind of approach them from a really kind of technical point of view yeah. of, of, right, what does this mean, this this particular beat? And, and how can we, you know, tell it in a really honest way that's both funny and messy and, and beautiful, but not, you know, not glossy, not yeah. kind of, and yeah, the pressure, there wasn't really any, because uh, we got on so well and, yeah. and it was handled so brilliantly that those scenes ended up being quite fun. Yeah. And it's the pressure of wanting to do it well, I yeah. think, which yeah. everybody, I think, experiences. I feel nothing for you, nothing. Why are you saying this? There's a great scene in episode two, a montage set to the hide and seek song oh, from Imogen no, Heap. That. And that's like one of those great soundtrack songs. I feel like you hear that and it's just so much emotion. What is uh, like your ideal soundtrack song? Is there one you can think of? That's a great question. Drive soundtrack. Is oh my sweet. gosh, that's oh. yeah. such a um, shout. Yeah, Night Call, what's the... the mm -hmm. night call. Yeah. That's a great song. That's a great... Yeah. yeah. 
I love um, the Big Little Lies soundtrack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just love like the moods of it. The the intro song that Michael Kuhn, mm -hmm. like yeah. Nuka's song is just so like. That's the, the Leon, uh, take me to yeah, the river. That's nice. Yeah, that's and, and yeah. such a great oh, song. Oh, it's just got such like brilliant and it's got such like meat to it. So yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Also 500 Days of Summer. You can't really go wrong <gasps> yes, with that soundtrack. Shout. Watched oh, on the plane yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, when he's doing the. <laughs> yeah. I wish that'd be so yeah. fun to do. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, yeah, there's a series too. We yeah, could do yeah. Musical and the Hall of Notes montage. It's funny the decisions you make when you like someone, and then your whole life is different. It's not like this with other people. <laughs>